I'm offering is the truth. Nothing. All right. So welcome back to the page, friends. Today is Venus Day, so happy Venus Day. Let me turn the music down a little bit so we can talk about today's theme, okay? Uh, okay, so yesterday I got the awful, awful news that my first love passed away. And, um, I mean, this was puppy love, you know. Started off um, uh, when I was in seventh grade okay and we were probably finally through doing the little dance of dating in 10th grade okay because in 10th grade he had a baby by some girl okay <laughs> that's neither here nor there um today's reading is going to be how do they feel about you now that they know it's over okay but before we start, I wanted to do a reading concerning the nature of love. Excuse all the paint and things on my hands. My daughter uh, left some wet paint and things. I was trying to move it, but that's neither here nor there. So the first thing I want to do before we get into the reading is actually look at the nature of love. Um, so it shouldn't take me but a few minutes to get through these questions. And if you don't want to watch them, you know, I'm going to put the timestamp below so you can always uh, skip over to it, okay? So the first thing I wanted to ask is, is why do humans experience love, okay? And I'm going to keep all of these questions to three card answers and the bottom of the deck as well, okay, for the theme, okay? So why do humans experience love? All right. So the bottom of the deck is Eight of Swords. But in this Eight of Swords, it has to do with um, one realizing their true self and their true power and not allowing outside influences um, to influence the way they see themselves or to make themselves feel trapped. Um, this is a card about being trapped. So I can clearly see that the universe's theme of humans falling in love or experiencing love is meant to be a freeing experience um, it is meant to be an experience that helps you to see the strength in yourself through the experience with others okay so we have the ten of swords the queen of wands and justice okay It's a, it, okay, so it, it, in essence, we experience love because we experience a lot of trauma while here, okay? While here on earth, there are always being daggers being thrown at you, okay? <clears throat> the Queen of Wands, however, is a transformative queen. Um, she is uh, the most powerful queen in the deck. I mean, outside the Empress, but the Empress is Queen of Queens, okay? Um, and actually, in a lot of decks, you'll see that the Empress and the Queen of Wands resemble each other, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, the Queen of Wands has everything to do with transformation, okay? Transformative power, okay? And then the last card we have is Justice, okay? The line here is saying that we experience love because... It transforms us and it balances things out. Life is a harsh experience. Love comes in to transform us and help us find our power and balance the power out as a whole. Okay, so love is a an empowering experience. Okay. The next thing I want to ask is. Why is love sometimes experienced differently even though the two people are experiencing the same love or in the same situation, okay? So why is love sometimes experienced differently even though both parties are experiencing the same thing together? Why is... I'm going to leave those out. Love sometimes experienced differently even though both parties are there together. So 
So the bottom of the deck is the star. It has to do with vision. It has to do with hope. It, it has to do with um, guidance, okay? Um, stars are guiding lights, okay? So one of the reasons why love is experienced differently by different people is because we have different perspectives, okay? Um, we have different goals. We, you know, uh, we need different things, okay? Because this is a card about hope, okay? <clears throat> so let's see what the rest of the cards say. So we have judgment. Mm -hmm. Five of coins. The Empress. Now, this one is very interesting. Why do we see why do we why do sometimes people experience love differently? <clears throat> one of the reasons is just because it, okay, so judgment and the star are playing off of each other in this one. Okay, judgment um, in this card has to do l legitimately with judgment. Okay, uh, looking at something and realizing that what you give is what you get. Okay, uh, some people feel left out and alone, anyways. Okay, in most situations or in life. Maybe they have been outcast so much in life they can't experience love in the same way as the Empress. Some people will be the Empress, okay? Some some people are filled with love and light. You know, some people are nurturing. Some people are extremely powerful because of um, how they love people, okay? We have Our Lady of Guadalupe here. Um, it's interesting because we have like two religious plays and then we have a church in the middle where someone is actually left out of the church but they are holding one little light down I don't know if you can see it they're holding their own light um so another reason is is that some people experience love on a grand scale and others have been so ostracized by life itself the love is tiny but it's still just as dear for others it's big and it it takes over everything okay um so the reason why we experience love differently is because we all have different capacities to love let's see what were the two that jumped out for us so we have the page of coins and we have the chariot um this is just a nod to some people are ready to go all in for love and others um are really kind of um slow moving you know others are um caught up in physical things you know they want to experience right now it's just about speed some of us get there quicker than others um so even though y'all are both walking the same path one may reach <clears throat> the point of enlightenment and understanding the full um capacity of love and the other may just be in a place where they just want to enjoy the little bit of what's going on right now the you know the little release okay and the last question i want to ask about love is what happens to love between two people when you separate um, because people say love never dies and I tend to say that's not necessarily true because uh, sometimes love transforms into something else and in order for it to transform it must die first um, I'm gonna do this in three parts okay because uh, I think we have to look at it in three parts the first part of um, what happens to love when we separate is just in general um, I'm going to do two cards for that one. The second one is what happens to love when we separate not on bad terms. And then the last one is going to be what happens to love when we do separate on bad terms. Love is its own living entity. In general, all three of these are going to be in the theme of the Four of Cups. Okay? Um... When love, when, when we end a relationship, what happens to love is, um, it depends on how the person views it. Um, some will find it undesirable and some will find it so desirable that they'll look for it in other places. And some love will just remain. So let's see in general what happens to love when we break up. 
so we have the emperor and we have the knight of cups okay so in general love remains um love is an all-powerful entity and it will find its way to you again is what it's saying there will be other offers later okay so maybe what it's not into is that when you and a person no longer are together the love doesn't necessarily die but the love is a living entity in and of itself and it finds its way back to you some other way okay um this one was what happens when uh you two break up but you're on good terms or there was nothing bad that happens what happens to the love this is interesting because i got these three cards earlier concerning a certain situation that is highly publicized right now we have the eight of swords we have the higher offense i'm actually going to turn to some slower music uh, there we go okay um so what happens is the love kind of hides out for a while I mean, when when two people split, the love just kind of hides for a minute. Um, it needs to redefine itself. Um, it's kind of trapped, you know, because we have to separate ourselves from it. But the higher often is a key card, okay? The higher often is rules and regulations and the order of things, okay? Um, you know, love regains its strength. Um, and it finds a new home and you know this card is not necessarily a positive card either especially pertaining to the story um, in this deck um, but I'm not going to use it in that manner I'm going to use it to say that um, basically what's yours remains yours love possesses us and we possess love um, until it finds its way back to you it it just remains under wraps just waiting to be freed again even in a good situation um, there's a type of pain that we feel um, when we separate from someone that we love that requires a lot of silence now what happens when the love, um, when two people split up because something bad happened between them? I have the six of coins. What happens to the love? The ace of cups. Two of coins. That's interesting because it seems that when things end on a bad term, love is actually a little more kinder to you. Um, I, the other day I used this deck and I was trying to show how they use flies and beetles to, uh, to show how, uh, shit turns to prosperity at times. You know, like, we fertilize our plants with shit. Shit is a nasty thing, but it helps to grow the things that sustain us. Um, love finds its innocence again is transformed back to an innocent form it is then offered to you again and the next time you learn how to balance it okay it's just that love is just one of these things it just keeps moving it just keeps moving it makes um any adjustments that it needs to make it's going to find its way back as we got from the first uh two cards love is just going to make its way back to us okay all right, so let's get into our Venus Day reading. What did I say it was going to be, guys? I think I said it was going to be, um, hmm, I don't remember. I'm going to have to pause on that note and review and come back. Sorry. All right, all right, all right. I couldn't <laughs> review the video, but I thought about it. I was like, oh, okay, I know what it is. How do they, how, what are their feelings for you now that it's over? How? you know where is their love like what is the um you know what happened to their love after y'all separated um what are they feeling for you now that it's over this could be something that's newly over this could be something that's been over for 30 years 30 40 years um i'm gonna keep it simple three cards 
actually I'm gonna make it six cards. I'm gonna do three of these and three of the fond de sec. Sickle. Okay, fond de sickle. I don't know why I keep getting it wrong. This is group one, two, group three, and group four. All right. How do they feel? Now that it's actually over. actually put on a love playlist I know I'll never ever be able to monetize on this video but it is what it is let's do it can y'all see your choices okay <laughs> all right all right all right all right okay so here's your options we have group one group two group three and group four all right and um while you guys are deciding i want to do my normal spill i want to thank everyone that has subscribed to the page thus far old subscribers as well and especially the new subscribers because you old subscribers i've given y'all props a million times but thank you guys so much for becoming a part of our family if you find yourself watching this video and you haven't subscribed as of yet i'm at asking the same question that I ask every time why the fuck not it's free it's fun and we're getting facts over here okay so um hopefully you guys have had the opportunity to figure out which group you want yes I am vaping today I'm gonna move these to the side so we can get on into group number one let me get a little sip of water. Oh no. Since he would not. It's something never know what get you high. When we touch, baby, I wanna do all the Let's see. Okay. So how do they feel now that it's over? It's interesting because they feel like they feel like you were really nurturing. They they feel like you were really solid in the relationship. But they also feel like they never expressed that the way that they should have expressed it. Okay? They just kind of let the opportunity die. There was an opportunity for them to relight or reignite the situation but they slept on it they just didn't know what to do okay um the bottom three say the same thing like they still to this day they still feel really close to you the love that you two shared was very innocent but it's over it's over it, it can't be it can't be reignited it's over but what they feel for you is so very innocent. And for whatever reason, they can no longer express that to you. Well, except for here. This is their opportunity. They had their opportunity to express to you. They felt you were beautiful. Well put together. Fun. Honest. exquisite <laughs> somebody's ex feels that you were exquisite in your natural form and you actually like to dress up a lot um yeah so the love is not dead but the opportunity is dead they missed their opportunity they look at your situation as a missed opportunity. 
I need to pour some of this wax out because I want my candle to still burn. There we go. Y'all know I need fire while I'm reading. All right, so group one. That's how they feel about you now that it's over. They still have feelings for you. They thought you were just wonderful. But they missed their opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed the reading group one. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And let's move right on into group number two. Now let's see, how does your person feel about you now that it's all over? Well, I can tell you, this, this man right here, if it's a man, well, I guess even if it's a woman, she's coming out very masculine. Okay, this person wants another opportunity. I mean, they want to, they still want to share the cup with you. Alright, they still want to share the cup with you. Um, and they're making um, movements to be with you again. Um, damn, they are climbing ladders of bones to get to you. Just, me, just meaning it's the situation is kind of dead, but it's still alive. This is about transformation. The, like I, I said earlier, the Queen of Wands is about transformation. The King of Wands is also about transformation. It's also about passion. This person is still burning with desire for you. Um, there is definitely something that has changed since the two of you have... Um, separated in particular some of you were involved with someone that may have lived some sort of illegal lifestyle and um, they've decided to change it up before they come to you uh, we go from the main man to the wealthy man to the courthouse okay uh, this is about coming bearing gifts they want to come back they want to come bearing gifts they want to make it official okay they want you two to be an official thing. They want to show you what all they can do for you. Maybe before they were just there. We have to me what would be considered an ace on top of an ace. Okay. They want to move heaven and earth to make things work out between the two of you. Okay. But at first they, you two were just together. They were with you and you were with them. But I don't feel like they had too much to offer you. Um, I think that they're coming back and they're trying to show you that they have something to offer you and they want to make it official so there is also the possibility that with this um three of wands this three of wands actually kind of reminds me of a thief in the night although it's not a thief in the night card i feel like um there's a strong possibility that many of you in this group were together but it was not an official um relationship uh this person wants to make it official okay so i hope you enjoyed the reading group too if you did please leave me a thumbs up Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And let's just move right on into group number three. Flip the bunch of them itchy for you to scratch them. I'm tired of hiding what we feel. I'm trying to come with the rest. I want them to know. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, D'Angelo. You're my lady. Yeah. You're my lady. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is a secret relationship. <laughs> Can't tell you why I know for sure, but I know what it is. Well, I could tell you, but we'd be here all day. So, <clears throat> now that it's over, and if this was not a secret relationship, this is not your group. I promise you it's not. Now that it's over, they can't let it be over. Um... They had a foundation with someone else. Um, they were the earth for someone else. Uh, King of coins, meaning they were the father figure. Possibly, um, this has to do with children. Two messages here. They're ready to hop ship. They're ready to separate from who they were with before. And they want to send you the message that they want to settle down with you. If it 
if it had to do with a child in particular I think that the child is displaying the fact that they're a lot stronger than what they thought their child was either that it's either that or it's just that their passion is just getting away from them like they can't not come towards you whatever the foundation was before it's coming down whatever they were attached to before there's also the possibility that they were caught up I take it back I said it couldn't be um not secret it could have been that they were so caught up in their finances and that's funny because then it kind of looks like they may have lost financially what they were chasing after and after the loss, they just realize they need to communicate with you. Like, they need to connect with you. Like, you're it. You're it for them. How do they feel now they know it's really over? It can't be over. Um, they're ready to shake up all foundations to bring it back together again. That's how they feel now that it's over. So if you enjoyed this reading group 3, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. Let me put these up quickly. And we'll move right on into group number 4. Okay? And let's see how does this person feel now that the relationship's over. We have temperance. We have two of coins. We have two balance cards here. We have the hermit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Poverty. Official person. Distant horizons. Alright. This person feels like now that it's really over they learned the lesson there, there was a big lesson they learned I feel like we have the two of coins here and we have a two two um, I feel like one of the biggest things they feel is is that they missed an opportunity to rise to the occasion They learned that lesson. They withdrew for a while. Or they will withdraw. Their, their spirit was, is, is or was really broken down. But the breakdown built them to a better person. And they set out to conquer things. They set out to find true happiness. It's like losing this relationship actually gave them peace and courage, direction and direction. They still haven't settled down yet though. They still have yet to settle down with someone else. It could also be saying that this situation makes, makes them realize that they're better alone. Maybe they don't have what's, what is necessary to keep a relationship going. But they have learned to master themselves. And this is what this person um, feels since you two are finally over. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this reading group four. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And that's going to end today's reading. I know normally um, I do kind of happy, upbeat, or sexual readings for Venus Day. But under the circumstances, I just felt like there was a bigger message to give today um before i leave i am going to give everyone one universal message from venus today concerning love okay let's see what is her message today 
from you. All right. What she's saying is, is persevere. Love is the strongest force on earth. She's saying when things break down, keep pursuing them. Work hard. Work hard to have what you want. If this is a love that you really want, don't, don't allow outside interference to keep you from being able to have what you want or what's yours. Alright? That is Venusa's message today. Persevere in love. Alright? So, um, if you have an altar, please leave a little something for the goddess Venusa in my steadfast, okay? Um, I hope you all enjoy your Venus day. As always, I hope you're getting some love or getting it in. And I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye. Nothing else matters for me and you.